Wogan against Barnet on their penultimate Tuesday night. Of course, the Halifax Town fixture from Saturday moved to the 25th of April. We're underway here at the Lathwaite's Community Stadium. Wogan against Barnet. Wogan in their traditional red and white shirts, their black and gold shorts, and their white and gold socks. Every outfield player inside the working half, defending the KRE. One hand in the air, but they go short to Carnu. Carnu working it onto his right, low shot, was pretty tame. Falls in the end, though, to Pritchard. Dealt with by Dan Moss, I think it was. Move back is the cry from Darren Sauer. We'll reflect on his first year in charge when we get time and space to do so. It's an almighty throw that's oh, straight into the hands. It's like an arrow, wasn't it? Boking really living off scraps a little bit at yeah. the moment. Moss pulling down Kanu for a free kick. Barnett captain who has the responsibility of this free kick. Darren Sahl, Ian Dyer shouting out instructions to their 11 players. Gorman, it's an excellent ball into the box, needs a touch, does get one, saved by Ross and missed at the back post by Emmanuel Fernandez. Saved and then uh, I'm not, I, it's hard to tell from here whether it hit the post or whether it actually came off Ross, whether it was a double save. Every player back for Woking Bar Ammon. Long throw, central, up rises McNerney, towering header above everybody else. Lofthouse, was he pushed by De Havilland? Players allowed to resume. Flicked out to the right by Cropper. Winter, back to Cropper, low ball, finds Cabamba on the turn, edge of the box, wonderful goal! Stunning goal from Barnett and the scorer, Harry Pritchard. Well, and. Uh... You know, it's going to be a challenging start now for Woking. They're challenging for the rest of the game. If it just falls right for Woking, they can certainly level this game up because they have been the better team since they've got a goal down. Barnett have just relaxed, if anything. Lofthouse once more, up against Winter. Lofthouse, last touch off Winter, Woking corner. Much better from the home yeah. team. Barnet fans making the referee aware that the ball was not on the quadrant. <laughs> right hand has risen from Josh Casey. Floated towards the back post, keepers right underneath that one, come out a long way. Well taken there by Laurie Wolf. Golden. I don't think Woking really need a miracle just yet to make it relevant. If Barnett find a second, they really are in trouble. Carnu easily around Moss. Carnu! Good save from Ross. Kabamba picks up the loose ball. Straight back to De Havilland. 21-year-old, direct. Gorman stabbed away by Casey and Kellerman. Away from Gorman, looking for support, has to go back to Casey. Began his career at Burnley. Over Chesterfield a couple of seasons ago. Pritchard, back to Cropper. Right-footed cross is excellent. Might have got a flick on from McNerney. It didn't, says the referee. Throw down the line. Loftus was pushed, but sandwiched between three purple shirts. And here's Ammon now. Up against Collins, low cross. Okimo. And Carnu's there to support, now with Kellerman. Kellerman left-footed, plays it with his right foot back to Int. Moss with a bit of space, cross into the box, headed by Kellerman. But to say that's the closest Woken have come is an overstretch, but really that's the, the best chance of the game so far. Cropper just seems to spend his whole evening running from one side of the pitch to the other to take <laughs> throw after throw, and he's now gone from the right, Barnett's right to Barnett's left. Here comes that long throw. It's unbelievably towards the penalty spot. Last touch came off a working man. They shielded it out, thinking that they had the goal kick. They didn't. Barnett's number 32. He's only 22 years of age. Alone, as I say, from Grinsby. Another ridiculous throw. Three bounce off McNerney. Kabamba saved by Ross. Kabamba's kept it in play. Over the head of Wakefield. Will it fall to Pritchard? No, it does now. Well. Was he pushed by Kellerman? Yes. And how much would Woking, Woking supporters want to see an equaliser before half time to set up the second half? Casey beyond the keeper arriving. It's in! Off the goal line from Kabamba. Casey, corner. Hi, Connor. Welcome back. Still playing here. Ball into the box. Up goes Sass Davis. McNerney towards the back post. Headed off the, the line once again from Kabamba. And there's the half time whistle. Ince onto Casey. Lofthouse left it for Brown. Brown shaping for the shot goes between two purple shirts. Still going. Reese Brown. Reese Brown! Oh, oh what a goal! Oh. Reese Brown with what a stunner! A goal. 
needs a bit of support. Wakefield smashing one off the shin of Collins from Rangers. Kellerman falls to Ammond. Ammond trying to work it. Saved by oh. the keeper. Wokens last and only home win here in the 21st century back in November 2020. Lofted ball forward to Collins. Didn't get the contact he wanted. Comfortably bringing it forward for Woken away from Kellerman. Now with De Havilland again, floating one towards the back post. Player's gone down, Kabamba, no foul. Arriving is Okimo, deflect. Deflected wide. They want the penalty, they're not going to get it. Corner, again, very direct, right underneath the front post. Falls to Gorman, sliced effort. Fernandez onside is Woods. Flag comes up eventually. Craig Ross did enough to put him off. It's a good save in the end. Six games to play and will surely break the record. Reese Brown on the edge of the box, finding Wakefield! Oh! Over the crossbar, length back. Cropping out on towards the penalty spot, falls to Gorman. Gorman off the crossbar! Onside is Pritchard, offside is Pritchard. Rattling the crossbar, Dale Gorman. What a strike, beat Craig Rock. But he worked the chance well. Amund back to his club captain. Casey infield to Rowan Ince. Falls to Brown. Brown, left for the strike. Clean away. Was he caught, Brown? Penalty! Deep breath, hands on hips, steps up. Short run up. Reese Brown, saved by the goalkeeper. And oh. Dakers can't put it in. Not the best penalty from Reese Brown. Better save though from Walker. A clap of the hands from the... Once again, and Ince needs to drop back into his position here as Kanu continues to burst forward here. Kanu off target. Casey, right over on that far side. This time towards the near post, straight underneath the goalkeeper who dropped it. And Dakers, if he anticipated, any sort of mistake would have been there. I think Barnett are happy with the point here. Brown forcing the mistake on Collins, and he's away, Reese Brown. Reese Brown for Woking, cuts back onto his right. Challenge there by Fernandez was spot on. Four with Reese Brown and Patrick Hammond. Lofthouse, cross, Brown. Is he being pulled to ground? Surely being pulled to ground. And is another penalty. Referee blows his whistle. Reese Brown again, saved again. Astonishing from Laurie Walker. Two penalties, two penalties saved. There's the full-time whistle. Well, the man at the moment is Laurie Walker.